Hello and welcome to another stream here on Behance and YouTube. My name is Anna Davis Court. I am a children's book illustrator. This is my best friend and co-host Anthony Sims. Hello, Anthony. How are you today? Pretty good. How about yourself? Just dandy. I had some delicious minestrone soup for lunch and I'm ready to paint. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> you rattled the whole desk when you clapped like that. The power of soup. <laughs> I also had soup. Oh, no way. Oh, oh yeah, stew. you told me about it. Hungarian carrot stew, specifically. Why do Hungarian people apparently have the best soups? Because there's Hungarian mushroom as well, which is, like, very famous. Yum. I don't know. I was just Tell looking me. for a recipe to get rid of all the carrots that we had from the garden. <laughs> so Let's it was a very homemade soup. That's awesome. I love that. Making it from scratch with your own ingredients. How much better could it get? Well, if I didn't use two years expired can of... <laughs> coconut milk no that makes it more authentic and real <laughs> you didn't milk the coconuts yourself come on i googled i googled and it it seems like an okay thing to do oh yeah usually expiration dates are for the materials used rather than like the milk itself ain't going anywhere it's all good um but you know let me know I guess how you feel, because you're the real test. You're no. a guinea pig now. Well, the forum I went on to, I, I searched like, is it okay to use expired coconut milk? And then the forum I went on to, there was this big long post. And then in the middle of it, someone was like, okay, four years from the original post, but I just did this same thing. I'll message back in a few days to let you know if there are any side effects. And then three <laughs> years later, there was a comment saying, well, it's been more than a few days. Rest in peace, user 2011. I guess they died. <laughs> I mean, how many times do you think you've like been like, I'll, be, I'll check back or I'll leave a review once I've used this thing and then you never do. You know? Oh, yeah. Not it's unless there's thing. an incentive for leaving a review. <laughs> Wow. I remember once upon a time you were like a master Google reviewer of many things, weren't no, you? No, it was just the one thing I posted. We went to that restaurant out in Cedar Hills area, mm -hmm. and I think it was new or something. And I took a picture of what we had on the table and like a couple of quick shots of the restaurant. Yeah. And then it just like popped off that restaurant. So it got like hundreds <laughs> of thousands of views. And then Google was like, you're one of our top reviewers in the area. And I was like, I didn't mean to be. And I literally haven't done another review since then. And I still get emails from Google like, wow, you're reviewing so good. What's wow, <laughs> you're amazing. I like that system, though. You can just like get a viral hit off of going to one restaurant before it's like a big hit. I don't know. It's funny. <laughs> I like the idea. So um, go review that thing that you forgot you, to your going to review. Uh, reply to the thread where you said, oh, I'll check back in a few weeks and the world will be better for it. It may feel like a waste of time, but somebody else randomly is going to read it at some point. Trust me. Uh, with that being said, let's jump into what we're doing today, which is working okay. with our favorite traditional setup again. I wanted to... Uh, <laughs> For those of you who are uninitiated, we've done three streams so far of uh, traditional work. And Anthony, are you going to change the screen? Oh, I felt Hello. like you were still talking to the camera. I didn't know. Oh, here we go. I'm always talking to the camera. Uh, <laughs> Hello, camera. How are you? Hello, camera. Okay. Now we see your hands. Okay. Hands. Yes. Okay. <laughs> ah. Everything shakes. Okay. So um, these are the beautiful uh, sketchbooks that are handmade by my friend Julia. You can see her beautiful stitching and painting on the inside and outside. Amazing. Uh, it's mohawk paper on the inside, which has been really good for everything we've thrown at it, which is gouache. So uh, just to show you some of the early stuff that we've done, we um, have some basically just studies of things. I have studied a few different artists. We have links on the Discord to their work who we talked about last stream. So if you wanna check that out, it's in Scream Schedules. Rin has been putting together the most amazing lists of links every single time we talk about something in the streams uh, she puts it on the Discord. So use those links, we talk about good stuff. Um, there are some unfinished ones, some more finished ones. Uh, we used basically all of these so far <laughs> because when one of them's drying, you can just pop into another one. It's wonderful. 
Uh, and so far, what we've been doing is painting just basically whatever we want. A lot of foliage based stuff, but we did go into coral at Anthony's behest. Um, and just trying stuff out. What I wanted to do today was open things up to not just gouache, but mixed media. So I watched a Lee Ellickson video and you should check Lee out because they're an amazing creator who uh, does a bunch of YouTube work and also illustration work. And it's one of those lovely intersections where you get to see an artist working basically all of the time and then order stuff from their shop and it's just, mm. anyways, uh, Lee is very amazing with like traditional artwork a lot of times. Um, and so I, what I wanted to do was kind of take that inspo from some of the videos to, uh, use mixed media so colored pencils pens gouache and just whatever like whatever comes to mind we can use anything i can use i don't know uh well we have ink also white ink <laughs> that we found yesterday was it sounds the like joe has a suggestion how about a mushroom person <laughs> mushroom person must you ask that i mean let's do it <laughs> Um, and another thing I kind of wanted to do today was work on a dark background at some point. We could do one piece with that or multiples, whatever we feel. Uh, I just wanted to do a dark background and then paint lightly on top of it and see what happens because I have not done that. Um, I'm thinking we might want to. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> faces, big faces. Bless me. Bless you. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, thank you. So, I'm thinking, oh, hello, Adobe Live. Welcome, welcome. We'll give welcome. him a I second just... to filter in. Oh, I mean, hello, Adobe <laughs> Live. You're trickling in. <laughs> Jake says I've been blessed. I truly have. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like the glow is happening. Ah. Uh, okay. So, what I was going to say with the dark background idea with gouache, what we've found is gouache is water soluble, which means... When you paint on top of something that's already painted, perfect example is right here in the plants. Uh, we painted these leaves and then we put some water over the background and dragged it over the leaves and it kind of blurs them. It gives them like a watercolor effect because gouache is basically watercolor, but a little bit more, it has the ability to go more opaque if you have more of the pigment, more pigment than water. Does that make sense? So uh, with a dark background, my worry is that it would lift the dark background. But what we're doing as an experiment is to try it out and see if you have a thick, lighter pigment on the brush and you put it on a dark background, does it lay down in a way that stays and doesn't lift the background? That's what I wanna figure out. So I'm gonna start popping open some of these gouaches. Huge shout out to my friend Julia, who not only made these sketchbooks, but also sent a bag a bag an assortment a grand assortment of just all the gouache colors possible look at this treasure trove i love it <laughs> so that's what we've got uh so if you're ever like oh that color's not working or whatever i can probably find another color and mix up whatever only thing is it's so hard to open some of these guys i might need to get out my needle nose pliers oh. luckily i've got my entire flat file worth of art supplies next to me so I can just reach over and grab it all. How's the chat uh, the, the, the chat doing? Oh, they're popping and gouaching. Popping and gouaching. Ow! Yes, I need my pliers. Ugh, to the sculpting drawer we go! Actually. Alright, don't judge me. Don't judge me. They're very dirty and old. Okay. Well uh, loved. Yeah, well loved. Exactly. Thank you, Anthony. He's my PR person. Here we go. Here's the black. Okay, so paper towel over it. Give it a little extra grip. Let's see if this fits around it. Okay, yeah. And oh, 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 uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. It was as satisfying for everybody else as it was for me. Oh, yes. What color is this one? Black. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All this work. And I'm gonna. <sighs> hair i'm gonna <laughs> give pretty decent dollops this time because i think i was going a little too stingy last time which you can do because again if they're thinned out with water they're basically watercolors but what i want to do is really um 
test out the, their capabilities. Not being watercolors. Okay, Wayne I'm, I'm says aged something. tools Here. add to their aesthetic. And Jake says I have some wire cut wire cutters that are ninety percent rust. <laughs> That's the only way to do it. <laughs> Once you buy a good set of water uh, wire cutters, you don't need another set. You just use them to death. Uh, and these guys have been with me since I was literally like 10 years old. They're actually part of a jeweler's kit that my mom gave me. And yeah, there's like a little wire cutty part right here. And then the, I don't know, what do you call those? Nose? Tines? Oh, the what? Oh, yeah, sure. I don't know, yeah. I don't know the technical name. Uh, I think groups. Anthony and I have both Rippy used bits? these. Grippy bits. Uh, <laughs> Anthony have I, and I have both used these for... Um, play classes of some sort sculpting things mm. these guys have been through a lot and apparently they are the trick to getting these open teeth <laughs> I love it when you shout teeth at me thanks Jake mm. she loved it <laughs> ooh look at that goopy goopy purple <laughs> it's got a little bit of muck well, okay, so the clear bit on when sourdough starter goes a little bit long, it can get what they call hooch on the top. And they say either just mix it in or pour it off, it doesn't matter. And then you feed it again. So is that what we should do with the paint? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Just mix it in. Fold it, it in. in. Fold it fold it in? What do you mean fold it in? If you say fold it in hooch? one more time. Hooch! <laughs> All right, I'm going to use a bigger brush. That was a question in the chat. Do you know why oh, it's called hooch. hooch? Hooch, there it is. No, I have no idea. Turner and? Ah, I love that movie so much as a kid. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, tell really me about good. it. Hey. Hey, hey. When I was a kid. Hey. I watched Turner and Hooch and cried for these. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Although, uh... What's his freaking name? Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, superstar. Superstar Tom Hanks is a gem. Is he Turner? Indeed. He is the Turner of Turner and Hooch. Hooch is the pooch. Hooch says, is the pooch. I don't get pooch. hooch on my starter. Mine goes straight to mold. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. I wonder what causes the goose. Sorry, bus. Uh, well... Oh, hello, package. Oh, shit. There's a package. Oh, shit. Hello, package. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay, so um, I've made, like, a really dark purple here. I did need to add a little bit of white just to make the color read at all because it looked pure black. So this is what I'm going to put down as our clear it of debris first. <laughs> our base layer, okay? And... What was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Texture. 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 Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, as I was saying, if you got a package, open it. Oh, I got new pants today. I'm wearing them right now. How okay. fun is that? <laughs> show yeah. Fashion show. Fashion show. Fashion show. Fashion show, show at street. Lunch. Oh. Gonna have to mix up some more of this. <laughs> um, uh, but I was gonna say something else. What was it? Oh, uh, the sourdough starter. So it goes bad in different ways. So like hooch is the the bad that's like still catchable, where it's not looking good for it. It could start growing mold any day then. But uh, what Kendall's saying is. She doesn't even get a warning. It just goes bad. And if there's any mold in your starter, you basically have to start over. <laughs> starter over. Um, so that's very unfortunate, Kendall. I'm sorry that you've had to deal with that. Yeah, that but sucks. Dark Hours yeah. wants you to do monster slime voices. Please. Monster slime voices. While we were making the Halloween special, we found, or yeah. I found rather, some sound effects of slime, and it really grossed Anna out. She couldn't stand listening to it. It was like mouth noises. Like that's how disgusting it was. You know, when somebody's eating and you just hear it, and you're just like, oh, I want to die. That's how I felt. <laughs> I don't know you if anybody else has that. that experience, but I'm guessing they do. Oh, thanks. I should create what I hate. Thanks. <laughs> hey, it was Ren idea, not mine. Hey, it was Ren idea. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm in the mood to make fun today, apparently. Every day. Every day I make fun of Anthony. Okay. I could throw it back your way if you want me to. We've got I a got Sammy one. real good earlier. <laughs> Ooh, you got her. I'm going to do another dark background, but it's going to be a little bit lighter than this one. On camera, Jake it says it was like just prob black. It probably was mouth noises. It probably was. You know, they sounded like... Oh, gosh. There are ASMR channels that I have only seen on other shows. Like, oh, here's an example of an ASMR channel. And I cannot... Okay, so what I'm saying is I, I'm fine with ASMR in general. But there are specific ones that are mouth noises. People eating. It's like mukbang asmr and sometimes it literally makes me want to vomit like i cannot stand it that much and i i don't know how some people are like oh yes i love this this is good for my ears i'm like it's not healthy for my ears so that's just my piece whatever is your thing enjoy it but man if you want to upset me but man <laughs> if you want to upset me Send me ASMR of people eating. I won't play it, but you can send it. And <laughs> you'll get upset. Well, I won't play it. <laughs> so but I you'll still be upset. upset. Like the intention was there. They sent this oh, to me. Oh, they can to feel like me. they upset me. Yeah, feel free to feel like you upset me. Like enjoy that feeling, but like I don't play it. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Working on those Is slime there... noises. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a good slime noise, Anthony. Yeah, I hate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Why did you ask for it, dummy? I just wanted to know. <laughs> I like, can. We made snail's pace race together. You literally did that not yourself. Fade away. <laughs> <laughs> so Anthony and I in high school made a stop motion film <laughs> called Snail's Pace Race, and I couldn't make the noises of the snails, so Anthony did all of that and you could just reenact that for a sec if you want. I did. I'm done. No, it wasn't exactly snails that you just made. It was more like... <laughs> I don't feel like showing people how disgusting you think I am. Is that weird? <laughs> yeah. You what? think it's the most <laughs> disgusting thing and it's not your jam and it would make you mad if someone did it and you're like, hey, do that. <laughs> okay, so... No, what <laughs> the snail space race doesn't make me disgusted. Uh -huh. Eating ASMR does, but the snail space race I couldn't do, and you could. That's all I was saying. So these guys are drying right now. We've got like a darker black purple, and then a dark dark purple. It, seeing this in person is different than on camera. I'd say this guy is like eighty percent dark purple. And then this guy is drying much darker, so he's almost like a, a charcoal, so with a little undertone of purple. And just for a sec, spice up this middle part because I feel like it got a little thin. And then, and then, I wanted to test whether our pens are going to bleed through at all. So let's just do that real quick on this guy. Um, let's, I don't really love this piece too much, so I'm going to just use it as an experimental piece. So what I'm going to do, let's see what's on the other side here. I do like the cat. So I'm going to do it on this side. Excuse me. I just burped. Excuse you. Excuse Bliss in the me. chat. We also have D in the chat. And hey D, hey Bliss, what's up? Jessica T in the chat. Jessica T! How is everyone? Jessica says, hi. Hi Jessica. Hi. How are you doing? Uh, I am going to test Sharpie in a line, and then I'm going to dot it in an area and see if it can get through the paper. Uh, just in case it can, maybe I'll use a little scrappy-doo. This is my handmade calendar that I like to make for all the things. Whoa, is that for mm -hmm. this year, I guess? Yep. We're not even in February yet. What's March doing up there? I have two books that I'm working on right now. And they are finishing up in February slash March. So I had to figure out some deadlines to like place in people's minds in the project and be like, okay, this is when you can expect stuff. Sumo uh, okay. Tui Frasa. Are you learning a new language? What? Uh, oh, Sumo Tui Frasa. Frasa. 
Same. I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> All right. So we're getting some bark going here. Do, 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 do. And then I'm going to dot it uh, at a, you know, like a long way. Like, oh, yeah, it's a really big dot. And I'm holding it there and I'm holding it there. And there's ink going through the paper. All right. Let's see. Da, 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 da. It did go through. Okay. So we have to be a little bit careful. The lines, nothing got through, but the dot did get through. So if you hold it too long or go over the same place too many times, then it may bleed through. So anytime that we're working with this, you guys should all shout in the chat, put the paper underneath. Oh my gosh. There's even the tiniest of dots over here. Oh, wow. can't even see through. it. The tiniest. It's like when Phoebe got a tattoo of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? No, no I'll have to rewatch that now. I'm still making my way through Seinfeld. Making my way. Yeah, Seinfeld. Good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do things like... Could you like, double fold on the paper? Flower. Double fold? Oh, like on this? Yeah. But I don't think we're going to have many instances of like holding for a long Jessica period of time. Jessica loves the cute little bunny, by the way. Little bunny, look at D Ross is excited about marker life. <laughs> Heck yeah. This is the mixed media of it all. What we're going to do is just experiment with using different tools and see what happens. Rin says that bunny's face makes me <laughs> smile. Well, I'm actively changing the face. I hope you still like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, frowning now. Hate it. <laughs> Kendall says, I like when she Got said there was eyes. a dot there and the camera can't see it, but I had dust in the exact location on my screen. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Um, also, if we want to, you can always zoom in on this by making the window bigger. Do you want me to? It's only if, if you feel like it's worth it. I don't know what people want to look at the most. <laughs> so, that's up to you, Mr. Creative Director. Uh, and then... Colored pencils on top can be really fun. I love the orange one using a bunch of color. Wait, can I make two instances of the same thingy? So there's like, if I click one on visible, then... Yes, you can copy a scene. Copy. And then, uh, I think, right? Can you do that? Oh, okay. Google knows yeah, better than me. I can. Oops. I've got many colored pencils in front of me. I love this blue one. It comes out kind of like opaque -y. Oh, picky. Um, oh. Yeah, look at that. Bounds of the box are off the screen. I can't even. I can't even. Yeah. I can't even. Okay. Sorry, everyone watching the stream currently. <laughs> Just apologies across the board. Do I need the left hand page at all, or are you mainly going to be working on where the right part of the page is? I could try to fit it Let's all. keep it in this general area of the screen. Okay. Got it. Sound good? Yeah. Look at you. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, now try switching it off and then see if... Oh, yeah. It jumps back and forth. Excellent. And then name this so does that give stuff. a better view of everything? I know this isn't the prettiest picture to post in on, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, it shows the full thing. Excellent. We love it. Can you see it on Behance right now? Yeah, I can. Exactly. Is that That's exactly what I was thinking of. My cool. mind has been fulfilled. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think, is that okay to like monitor during the stream when we should be closer or far away? Oh, it renames both of them. That's weird. That's weird. Hmm. Any who's it's what's it's. Uh, yeah, you can see the idea here using pens and using colored pencils i think is a really fun combo with gouache so i'm excited about the possibilities again this picture isn't the best example of it but you can kind of see like if you just look at this part the idea of colored pencils on the gouache is really fun and then if you think of like the i really like this much more than the the bunny but like an outline of black i could do a drawing and then no i think i would paint and then draw over. I think that's the way to do it with gouache. Because if you do, well, let's experiment. Hey, let's do it. Let's do it on the back page of this. Because again, this is our highly experimental area. So uh, I'm going to draw. Also, I'm going to try actually with the Stadler 
pigment liner. This guy is pretty dry, so we're gonna hope and pray that he comes through. Liz says I recently purchased some watercolor pencils and they seem like magic to me. And dark hours are agrees. Wonderful. They absolutely are. Excellent. We love to hear it. All right, so lines and then another big dot. Oh, staying on the dot. Stay on the dot. Take all of the ink. Okay. Ah, it didn't go through. Okay. It has like the slightest, faintest little like color bleed through where you could see it's on the other side of the page, but it's really not noticeable. So I guess this one is the safer option other than the Sharpie. <laughs> Does this look like some kind of creature? Yeah. Two eyes and three lines equals. Like a face of some sort. Like, like a. What are the three uh, lines supposed to be? I feel like it's like a, a gyroid. Nose or something. Have you seen the gyroids in Animal Crossing? Yeah. Jake has a lot of them set up. Yes, of There's course he does. Room. <laughs> room. There's Rain one says, that has... Ooh, I have played with watercolor pencils before, but definitely need to pick them back up. Yes, watercolor pencils are really fun. I do have a few of those in here, and I've got a box of them that we can pull out. Uh, and they basically, if you put them on a piece of paper, like, oh, I'm drawing with a colored pencil. Look at this. Another bunny. Wow. <laughs> and then uh, you take a brush. Brushy, brushy, brushy. Oh, this one still has some white ink in it from it the last time. Oops. <laughs> Uh, and you just dip it in water and then you zhuzh and it turns into watercolor. Magic. It is magic. It is straight up magic. And you could still kind of see where the pencil was, but it's, it's mostly watercolor at that point. And then uh, I actually gave <laughs> this little tip to Julia who was talking about how she had um, watercolor pencils that she wanted to try out, but they weren't quite doing exactly what she wanted. And I was like, well, the only thing that I remember running into with watercolor pencils that I didn't like, and she ended up liking, is when you do water on the paper and then drawing with it. It's like dry, wet, totally different. You see? It looks thicker. More like Vicar. Yeah, it, it kind of, live time makes the brush like almost pastelify where it like becomes uh, much chunkier much more vibrant and then i don't know it just kind of like rubs off more in the water because it's water soluble makes sense right rin says i've been playing with digital watercolor live brushes and fresco so much lately i think they're spoiling me but they are so much fun to play with <laughs> Jessica says, nice. You hack. deserve to be spoiled. <laughs> Liz says, like there's a little spreading when you wet the paper first. Exactly. It can create a lot of different effects. And uh, I'm sure that there are different quality of watercolor pencils as well that will change the effects that you can get. But that's kind of the, the lovely part of it is you get to play with that. And it's up to you to do what you want with it. And happy accidents all the way, man. I feel like. That is the name of the game with all traditional media, is just play with it until it does something you like. <laughs> okay, uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna draw a mushroom person. So, mushroom. Again, this guy is real dry, so sorry about that. Can you even see it? Yeah, Barely. it's kind of <laughs> uh, Let's give him eyes up here. Kendall says, I got water-soluble highlight pencils, and it's a weird effect, but I like it. Water-soluble highlight pencils? Interesting. That's a really long leg, but that's how I like them. <laughs> Gams McGee, baby! Uh, and then I'm going to do, like, a little... Do you know how mushrooms have that thing sometimes that, like, comes out as, like, a net, almost? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make that this like a net skirt. Wow, this pen is drying out so much before my eyes. It's ridiculous. 
Kendall says, yeah, I had to ask the stone owner lots of questions because I didn't know what they were. Isn't that exciting what though? Were like they? finding new things Water to play with? Highlight pencils. What do you use them for? I imagine they'd be like just really highlightery colors. Is that what you mean? Kendall says it was the CW pencil shop in New York City, so they had lots of very fun things. So sad that place closed. Aw, unfortunate. I'm gonna do like a hand over a purse. Yes, this mushroom has a purse. What's the Golly, purse made out of? So annoying. Okay, I'm just gonna do it for Sharpie. Uh, purse material. I'm not familiar. Can you go into any more detail? <laughs> Wait, what no. was annoying about the other thing? Was it just running out of ink? Yeah, it was super running out of ink. Like, you can't even see this. You can't even ghost. see what I'm drawing. I'm telling you. Exactly. It's like a ghost. It's a ghost mushroom. But the nice thing about that uh, pen being so light is now I get to kind of use it as an underdrawing. Yeah. That works yeah. Really well. Yeah. Turning that Make negative it. into a positive. Ain't that just the way? Make that lemonade, baby. There, there. And then a little. Whoop, whoop. These are like dew drops, but Aww, like scrutified. Cute. Is this good enough for you, Joe? Do you like this? Whoop. And then little like zhuzh marks because it's a mushroom, obviously. Joe says, oh, is this, is it an ink cap mushroom? I love it. <laughs> I Ryan have no idea. <laughs> Thank you. It's just a little dude, a little character, you know? Maybe it was a joke. Rin said, put a nice I like that. Ink uh, cap, get it? Wow. <laughs> do, you, do you get it? Do you get it? Do you yes. get it? Alessandra it, says, hey, said everyone, hi. Anna, 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 <laughs> Alessandra, how are you doing? Jessica says, loving the mushroom character. You know, how could you not? When Dark Hours clarifies, no, no, it's a real <laughs> mushroom type. But it's still a joke. It can still be real and a joke. It can be all the things. There you go. Little smile, little smiley do. Ink cap oh, mushroom. Oh, it's like a tough sleeve. Yeah, they are cool looking. Just like you. They got dangly bits coming off of them and all frilly and cool stuff. Amazing. This is a good hand. Trust me. Yes, they are saying hello to you. You are honored. So that one's just for Joe. <laughs> okay, now um, let's test. Ooh. Oh yeah, you can see how much it comes through on this side. A little like do 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 do. Whenever the lines would overlap or hold for a second, you can see the dots. Good to know. Good to know. Um, and then, oh, what I wanted to try was smacking the paper first. So I did that. And then I'm going to paint over it and see what happens. Let's just use some of the colors that we already have, because this isn't like a super important thing. <laughs> it's just for Joe. I mean, <laughs> no, Joe would want us to explore. OK, this is what happens. Just so, asking um, what um, kind of paper you're drawing in. Do you want to cover that again? This is Mohawk paper. This is a handmade sketchbook that my friend Julia made for me. And uh, yeah, all I know is she said Mohawk paper. So there you go. <laughs> nice. OK, so who calls that this will make the pen bleed? And who says it won't? Let's see. Let's see. Vote in the chat. Vote in the chat. Take it to the chat. All right, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Jake says it will. Maybe. Maybe? Okay, so... Dark Hour says I think it will not. <gasps> no. 
not. Uh, okay, so it looks like so far we're covering the pen somewhat. I'm gonna give you a close up after I'm done finishing with this. When I'm done finishing, <laughs> what <laughs> words come out? Should I avoid the face? No, uh... I'm just gonna go over the face. I can re, re up the face, you know, re ink. Man, I just saw a printer. Uh, actually, Joe and Kendall, I can't remember which one it was. Uh, we have a group chat with Joe and Kendall on Instagram because they like to send us all the good stuff. And uh, one of them sent a printer video that was a printer that doesn't require ink and it does like little image printouts. They did like a little Snoopy. And it made me happy. And I was like, oh man, can you imagine if we could do like fully printed prints, but without ink? <sighs> what a life it would be. But it was just one of those little pin printers for fun, which I like too. Okay, so that's how it went over. What do you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a close up myself. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, it slightly, well, it's not totally dry yet, but it slightly covers up the ink in a way that's like almost like a, a blending mode in Photoshop a little bit. It makes it like slightly cloudy and slightly colored, which I kind of like. So it's not off the table to do pen and then gouache. Um, I'm going to do a little test with the, the like from Anna thing and just try to smear it. No, the pen stays. The pen holds out. Check that out. Boom. Not even smeared a little bit. Pretty crazy. So I think Joe said it wasn't going to smear. Boom. You win. Joe is right. Joe is always right. All right. Check it out. These guys are so dry and flat and matte and they feel good. Too. Wow. There's got to be like chalk in the paint. Is that part of the formula? Excuse me. I ask as if you know. Let's sketch with the blue pencil. I'm thinking some flowers. I like like flowers in a dark area. I'm thinking of this very specific piece that you guys have probably seen on Pinterest before where it's like uh, a girl centrally figured looking up at these big flowers uh, like Alice in Wonderland-esque where they have like faces on them and it's all on a dark background. Super cool. But for this composition, let's do just some like simple, ooh, that shows up nicely. Decorative kind of stuff. So we'll do some like branches. Oh wait, actually, do I want to do those kind of leaves? Hmm, let's do, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to do like a stick and then a leaf. That's the kind of idea. Can you guys see this? Well, not when you kind hold of? it up so close to the camera, but. Uh, Can you see it when of... I'm drawing it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, it is just an under sketch, so it's fine. And then what I'll do is add some like burst of berries colored or something like that. So what color should the leaves be, do you think, Anthony? What goes well on this dark purple background? Um, yellow. Yellow leaves, I like it. What kind of yellow? Like a pale yellow or like a ochre? Pale yellow. That's the wrong answer. I don't want ochre, so it's the right answer. Mustard? Oh, I was thinking of Alice in Wonderland, thinking the golden <laughs> afternoon with flowers, but this is the opposite of that. Why would that make this? And then I couldn't top off with anything. But uh, what's the opposite Alice of yellow on the color wheel? Is a blue, so it's a uh, blue Purple. moon. Wait, oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I was totally off. I was going more orange territory. Orange, blue, yellow, purple. So that would be, what's the song with purple in it? Purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. I was going to go uh, blue velvet again, so thank you for saving You're me on welcome. that. One-eyed, okay. one-horned, flying, flying purple, purple people, people eater. eater. 
Those are the two purple songs that I know, I think. Ow, man, these things hurt so bad. Whew. All right, let's go for some red. Rin says, the quick decisions of those with proclivity for indecisiveness counterbalancing by acting on impulse instead of sitting around in indecision. Oh my gosh, that was a whole thing. Wow. In one of the self-improvement books that I have, it's got like little tips. And one of the tips is make a decision. It doesn't have to be the best decision. Just make a decision. Agreed. Just do it. If you have two just options, just pick one. If you're being indecisive, just go with one. Quit being indecisive. Stop the... Oh, wait. Uh, skip the niceties. What is it? That's reference to Hamilton. Didn't work out. It's fine. I'm gonna move my water. So we've got ketchup and mustard here. Oh, Jake, I think, was typing out one-eyed, one-horned, fine purple people eater while I was saying. Sure, let's go to me. <laughs> Dark Hour says, very the good Jake place vibes does. here. <laughs> that is the highest compliment <laughs> which season <laughs> we're dead <laughs> the season really changes how i feel about that no 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 this is this is perfect i love the good place honestly so much is it like end of season one vibes because <laughs> rude <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers here Okay, so not going on super opaque. Maybe I added too much water. Chidi! I love Chidi. Chidi and the Would you want to be Chidi? Would I want to be Chidi? What kind of question is Okay, that? sorry. Out of all the characters, who do you identify with the most? Oh, hmm. Probably Chris Bell's character. I feel like it really? could be like that sometimes. <laughs> You're nowhere near her. Are you kidding me? She's like actively horrible. <laughs> she really is. And I find it the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> and I like to laugh at that. Especially I when she's torturing funny. other people. <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> Tahani oh, is God. also amazing. Oh, Ow. Oh. You know, you know when you've like tried to open a jar so much that like your hand Hurts. like its, it's skin like, is yeah, rubbed off. Bleeding. And then you have to open another jar. Mm -hmm. But it's That's easier if right you now. use some of the blood as like some grease to really get <laughs> the <that> going. Stop! <laughs> no. Not the way I was going with it. Okay, I'm going to add some white to see if that can up the opacity at all. We'll just see. It's all experimental, so. But, uh, oh, it is quite a pop pop. Okay, don't be precious with your leaves, Anna. This is all an experiment. Okay, I won't. Thank you, Anna. You're welcome. Ooh, Anna. that one that you just did is perfect. No further oh. edits required. Oh, I like that. Thank you, editor. <laughs> I wish you were my editor. I wish I was too. Approved. Kind of book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, donezo, baby. Wow, I've never done a book so fast. Yeah, when you uh, talk, there... you're gonna be like okra, and I'll be like butter yellow, and you'll be like no, and I'll be like you're fire. Exactly, I can't wait. It's my favorite thing to think <laughs> about: us yelling at each other about yellows. Ugh, what a day. What? What other color would we yell at each other about? Come on. Oh, every single right one there of in them, the name. You know, yellow. Yellow. But really, we would just be like That's this great. way. No, this way. Oh, yeah. I can see it going either way, honestly. Really good, yeah. <laughs> uh, just to give you a close up of what we're doing right now. Oh. Oh. Go to that. the left a little. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, it was the opposite. <laughs> so, is this side I should show ah, stuff on? Shake it. <laughs> Ooh. Good quality content. <laughs> Heavy breathing and shaking. <laughs> And manic Can't wait laughter. for next week. <laughs> you could really work on the titles of these streams. You know, you were there too. <laughs> Did that make any sense? Mm, no. Yeah. You could change the title at any moment. That's the scary amount of power that we've given to Anthony collectively. I'll make it a bunch of bad words. <laughs> Pumpernickel. Whoa, how dare you? <laughs> Eep. Please. I said it and I meant it. 
Kendall says, okay, apparently my highlighter pencils are actually called dry marker. I oh. shared my water versus dry marker test and paint along should anyone want to see those. What the heck? That's amazing. And Rin is asking, where does the phrase come from? Don't be precious for not spending too much time on that one aspect. I had not heard that phrase used this way prior to streamers on Behance. Really? <laughs> uh, I'd say that's from art school or like just the general art community, honestly. Uh, you hear it everywhere. Maybe it's from Lord of the Rings. Don't be precious. <laughs> you get it? You get it? Yeah, Gollum was such an artist. He, just he really <laughs> is. Honestly, he's like pure creative. He's like coming up with riddles out of his brain. He's he's amazing. Goals. Mm -hmm. Except for the murder stuff. <laughs> uh, Too bad about the murders. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dark Hour says, okay, but I would totally watch that. Anthony is the only hovering art director allowed. <laughs> <laughs> so should we do a book? on stream that you are my art director for I, an editor I could do that and I have everything. no problem doing that I think I you no... would have the problem with that because <laughs> you're the one creating and I'm just telling you what I think looks better well and with the writing too you would have to be like this oh, I could write is a book a... for you no problem no not the you would have to edit my writing I could do that really yeah you say that I say that. You say that. I said it. He said it and he said it. Right, that one's the perfect one. That one's the perfect one. Don't touch it. Touch it. Not bad. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, it doesn't show up enough. So I think I will. Darko says, okay, done. Anthony writes a book. Yes, yes. It is now law. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It says, oh boy, a book by Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I would love for you to become a writer. So do it. Make hey. my dreams come true. Uh, actually, aren't you taking a writing class right now? So you know, the first class we had there. with him on Monday, he was like, now this isn't a writing class and it's not a poetry class. And I was like, wait, what, what is did it? I sign up for? <laughs> this is science and math. <laughs> no. <What>? no. <laughs> Am I supposed to express my feelings of love through this medium? I cannot. <laughs> there once was a lady with 69 boobs. That's the only oh, thing I know my about gosh. that. You just came out with that so fast. I did you not remember? think that was in your brain. No, too, I don't. Too, too much. So she went to 51st Street to see Dr. Ice and had surgery okay. number nine and came out. Okay. And then you turned the calculator oh, upside down. It says boobless. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have never known that, sir. What? So you are enlightening me. <laughs> wow. There's a whole story that goes along with it. Apparently, you knew I never the heard upside that story. down. Like I didn't know any of that. When you oh, I I know yeah, yeah, yeah. the end result that I just thought it was like a thing you oh. did with your calculator, not it a is. story. It was a whole story. It's like a jump rope thing. You type it out <laughs> while you're jump roping. <laughs> Miss Susie had a tugboat. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Jack Hour says this was in Anthony's brain all along. Oh, yeah, it lived there. there. Guys. Oh, oh whoa. no. It's pretty Kristen Bell else? from the good place in there. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fork! <laughs> fork, you guys! Oh, Why can't I say gosh. fork? <laughs> Jake says, I've oh. never heard the story before, Anthony. LOL. <laughs> None of us did. None of us knew that. <laughs> well, now, this is new. All 40 of you watching right now are more <laughs> the wiser. I guess. Thank you. No, yeah, or like, try it out tonight. darn you! Calculator, try it out. <laughs> you memorized it, right? Repeat it back. Surgery number nine. I didn't like that. <laughs> you selected like from the menu. It's... <laughs> no, I hate it. Ah. I like the part where they're like, "It's too, too, too much." That's my favorite part. <laughs> Reasoning, <laughs> four numbers. I'm getting paint everywhere, just by the way. 
but it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anthony just rattled off a whole thing about calculators. Did you have one of those really expensive ones? Yeah, Do you remember we were that? Forced to get them. What was the deal with oh, that? It was so dumb. T nine or whatever it was. No, that was the text program that we used, right? I don't text even know what they were called. Yeah, when you texted by pressing each number multiple times to Whoa. get like R. Do you remember that? Two, that two, was two, T nine. <laughs> <laughs> TI-84, thank you, Jake. Texas Instruments, yada, yada. <laughs> yada, yada. It was a racket, I tell you. They make you get the most expensive thing. It was like $100. Thing. Are you kidding me? Seriously, for a calculator. And then also, they had the school ones, which were like, give up your left kidney to rent one out. Just the most, I don't know, protected thing in the Ludicrous. school. Ludicrous. Luda. Dottie oh, in the better. chat is oh, asking, God. what's the black background? This is gouache. Uh, so yeah, we painted like a dark black purple and then now we're drawing over it with blue your... colored pencil and yeah, orange gouache. What? Yeah. Palette. Got palette. palette right here. This, this is the purple. There's so... purple, there's black, and I put a little bit of white. So Maybe. it's like a gray purple. Whoa, that was a lot of, a lot of. Not that time it wasn't. Not this time. Not this time. Trying to think of what I want to do for the other one already. <laughs> uh, I think what we'll do is add more variation in here. Cause like, I like the colors that are going on, but I want more. I want more. I want to be where the people are. Want to see them dancing? Dance! Dance! I'm going to round out the tips of these guys because I like it much better with the shapes that I've got now. Where I lay the brush down like this and the sharp end goes towards the connection point and then the round bit is the end. So I'm going to just kind of uniformify a few of these and I'm going to get rid of Anthony's favorite one. So. No! Wave goodbye to it, sir. I say yes. Anna, no. Anna, yes. That's my life. Don't wear it out. Don't bring me down. Oh, I know what I want to do. <laughs> I almost forgot. Don't worry. I'll tell you when the time comes. Beep. Bop. Boop. Uh, these guys are not going to be perfect, obviously. They're just going to be whatever they end up being, honestly. Uh, again, I want to treat this sketchbook as a sketchbook, truly. Like, I'm not going for finished pieces in here. Although, you know, it really feels good when you nail a piece and you're like, I like that. I like to, I'd like to keep it. But uh, that's not the purpose here. It's just an added benefit if you accidentally do it. Uh, and that's one of the things that... I'm really craving right now. Like I said, I'm working on two different books. And that's one of the reasons that we're doing so many traditional streams lately is because those two books are being done digitally. And I really wanted to just do traditional work to kind of bring some variety to my day. And then the other aspect of it is uh, the other books are being finished. Like they're all heavy finalized paintings where it's like, oh yes, this is going to be the final bit. So I'm really craving those early bits on projects right now where you get to design and just, you know, muck around a bit <laughs> and see what happens because it's such a different mode that your brain gets in for each of those different sections of a project. You know what I mean? Yeah. The different stages yeah. of a project. It's pretty fun for your line of work. Yeah. I want you to have fun with your line of work. Okay, so here's the fun little bit. I'm going to do hopefully opaque little berry dots. Berry, berry dots, little berry, berry dots. Dottie appreciates uh, when you tell us how to use the brush and make your marks. Oh, good. Yeah, that's, that's an ever-changing kind of thing. Uh, and definitely different artist to artist. But uh, I find that 
at least right now, the style that I'm going for is much of a faster, looser kind of thing. And that's when you don't want to be choking your brush, trying to get the exact right motion or whatever. You're just kind of trying to let the paint fall where it may. And whatever comes out of it is the, the happy accidents stuff, you know, like the, the mark making that you didn't intend to do but came out of your brush, that's the best stuff. Rin says, I've mostly worked in pencil slash colored pencils and a little Ooh. oil pastel, so watching the painting has been extra inspiration to explore new mediums. Oh, I love that, definitely. I, uh, like I said last time, only really worked with gouache in school and it was in a very school way, so I'm having kind of a renaissance of discovering it for my own uses which is quite quite fun i don't have a grin on my face all the time when we're painting these things but trust me i'm grinning on the inside <laughs> i'm having a great time <laughs> Tony says i love oil pastel anna makes painting look mm. easy uh, it's the years of easy, experience darling. <laughs> I, I don't have years of experience with gouache. This is like me being, I mean, I want to say like a toddler, but like, I know that a lot of art skills do carry over. Oh like, yeah, for I sure. I know design principles and all that stuff, but this is truly like, I'm not familiar with this medium. This is not a super experienced painter right here. Mm, maybe not so much that, but the colors are working well. Your line placement and the movement of the branches working well. Thank you. The variation of shapes also nice so all of that knowledge definitely goes into what makes it look easy yay thank you it's nice to hear what are you gonna put in the middle a starburst Ooh. what flavor pink obviously <laughs> the best one Duh. so good i mean what, what what's your favorite pink yeah also <laughs> yellow the lemon's pretty good. I feel like they nailed the lemony flavor pretty well. You know, I never really liked lemon candies. That's probably why I don't really go for it. How about lemons IRL? <laughs> I go for a lemons IRL. I go hard for lemons IRL. You kidding me? Hard lemon? That would be a lemon head? Hard lemon. No, it's hard lemonade. Uh, no, I actually... <laughs> I don't buy lemons regularly. It's like if a recipe calls for it, maybe I'll do it, but it's not something I always have in my home, which is definitely um, one of those like bakers are supposed to always have lemons around. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. First of all, if you don't have buttermilk all the time, then one way to sour the buttermilk is putting some lemon in it. Or sorry, sour the milk is put butter in it. Yeah. Wait. No. Mm. <laughs> Sour the milk by putting lemon or something acidic. Anyways, uh, but the other thing is like people love lemon desserts so I much. Do. Lemon yeah. bar is really good. Lemony cupcakes I've made. The Mediterranean cookbook that I've been making a lot of things out of calls for lemon all the time. So yeah. Like top things off with or bake in with. So are you one of those houses that has a bowl of lemons all the time now? Well, we have a bowl of uh, like tangerines all the time. This Most recently, I bought oh. a bunch of blood oranges and four oh. lemons. So it's kind of mixed together. I've got four lemons in that bowl. So it's just like a citrus, citrus bowl more bowl. than anything else. But Heck yeah. Um, Zuzu illustration in the chat Zuzu! saying, how beautiful is this? <laughs> We're making something fun. And this is my I'm recent palette like too, citrus. Yes. And Corey also in the chat saying yes, delicious. lemon. <laughs> yes, lemon. <laughs> is this like Liz Lemon? Yes, yes lemon. lemon. Kendall says, I have to hide Starburst candy. We'll eat the whole bag alone. <laughs> what is the bag of candy that you will eat all of if given the ability to? Candy? Hmm. I don't know. I think my stomach can't handle it like it used to. Yeah, totally. Uh, by the way, shout out to uh, we've How big got is the bag? Rin. Two. Uh, we've got Rin and oh, Joe in the paint along section of the Discord. So if you guys are feeling inspired and you really want to paint along, you've got buddies there to go paint with, along with us, obviously. Um, okay, so. I, I don't think of candy as like a I have to eat all of it kind of thing. I kind of like you where it's like I know it'll upset my stomach after a certain amount. 
but if it were to be the most temptation, probably a chocolate of some sort. See, Twix is like my favorite, but it is a heavier thing. So like a lighter chocolate dealio, like, I don't know, Kit Kat with the wafers. It isn't all chocolate, so it's a little bit easier to just eat 5 million of them. Yeah, chocolate can go down real easy. <laughs> oh, chocolate could go down real easy. But I was thinking more like fruity candies than chocolate Chocolates? candies. Oh, you know my treetop gummies. Oh my gosh. Are those candy? Such... Yeah. Oh, okay. They're well, gummies. Yeah, I, I don't know. The whole thing that I didn't know those were candy. <laughs> <laughs> I fooled you for years into thinking they were real fruit. Aren't they like? Real fruit juice or something? Tree. I don't top. know, man. They're so good. Fruit. Okay, I haven't had go. those it in years. It took so much finagling to even get this. Uh, yeah, I haven't had them in years either. I can't remember why we stopped getting them, but man, I love those things. They they just have the full on nostalgia pull. They're so good. Okay, so uh, our mushroom our star and then we have a blank black canvas apple juice from concentrate corn syrup Ooh. sugar gelatin oh. citric acid natural flavors grape juice concentrate some other stuff mm -hmm. oh man those are good I'm trying to decide hmm yeah, they're really good. I like jelly if beans too. Had jelly them, beans, especially them. with one of those little pamphlets that says, eat these together and it tastes like this. That's what? Awesome. I've never could... done that. Oh, when we went to the Jelly Belly factory, they had these little guides of like, combine the peanut butter and jelly one and it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and things like that. And then they would <sighs> have so other cute. combinations where it's like a, a cocktail or something. I love it. That's awesome. Let's eat some jelly bellies together. After you're done tipping these off, do you want to do some monkey paws? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, it's already time for that? I feel like we just started. My goodness. Or are you lying to me? No, no, it's time. Oh, you would never lie to me. Okay. Yep, just tipping them real quick. I wanted to add some kind of other color variation. Uh, and this is like a fun way to do it. Just add like a little pattern to the leaf of some sort. And for this one, I just thought... Simple pattern better. Oh, Corey said they would eat an entire thing of red vines. And Dark red says, vines. after I'm eating, my belly is jelly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then it goes they on to say, lie. wow, can I even write sentences? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. After I'm You're eating, pretty my good belly at it, actually. <laughs> I get it. You're eating yourself. And then you look down and you are tempted once again. <laughs> well, that was tasty. Oh, M&Ms too. If there's like a bowl of them, which is rare to find. I don't know where those bowls of M&Ms live, but like in my memory, if I ever saw one, I'd be like handful right now. Mm, any particular kind? Of m and M? Yeah. Oh, like not the colors, but like the peanut versus pretzel. Coconut pretzel yeah. i don't remember coconut coconut's ones. pretty good Oof. oh man Yum. should i get that <laughs> um i was just thinking regular m&ms but honestly i mean i like a peanut m&m but I, I can't do a handful of them like regulars oh my gosh do you remember the little uh baby sized ones yeah m and m and m and m and uh they <laughs> I'm Nemo. On Halloween, anemones, <laughs> anemones. Uh, I'm obnoxious. So the Halloween thing that happened on my block was everybody started getting anemones in those little like vials. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember the that? Uh, yes. And the little cap popped off, so you could like reseal it and everything. Oh my gosh! So those were coveted after the year that that started happening it's just instantly like everybody's favorite so i love those yum, they're yum. like 90 percent candy corey's so... asking have you guys ever had the new sugar cookie m ms that sounds amazing what sugar cookie apparently there's some crispy m ms 
That sounds amazing. I would like very much. Um, let's do monkey paws. Ooh, ooh ah, ah. Okay, here we go. Monkey paws. Excuse me. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to do monkey paws, which is a hand stretch that I will give instructions for. So follow along if you've never done it before. Uh, this is just an opportunity to take care of our bodies. So to start, we are going to put our arms straight out in front of ourselves, fingers to the sky, palms away. And then we're going to curl our fingers into what we call a monkey paw. Ooh, ooh, ooh ah, ah. ah. Great job. Then second pose, we put our fingers to the ground, palms towards ourselves, curl our fingers in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Great job. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Third pose, we flip our hands out, palms away, fingers down, and then curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. Great job. And fourth pose, we put our fingers to the sky, palms towards ourselves, and curl them in. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. Great job. Don't worry, I don't have blood on my hands. <laughs> it's just paint. I want it. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we repeat these poses holding for about a second each around 10 times so that we can get a nice stretch in our wrists. And this will prevent carpal tunnel and uh, arthritis symptoms. So hopefully we're taking care of our bodies right now so that we can prevent bad problems down the road because we use our hands for everything and we need to take care of them. Crack, crack. Uh -huh. This music's kind of dancey, so get a little bobble in your wobble. Well, don't sing, because that's not the right song. Oh, sorry. But you can do the dancing. <laughs> yeah. That flows a lot more, I think. <laughs> also... You threw off my groove, I'm man! So sorry. How long do you think it took for that black gouache to dry on the paper? That black and purple mixture of gouache. Probably like three minutes. Yes. What size? But of I'm a bad judge of time. <laughs> uh, probably like three two minutes. and a half by three or four. I'm also a bad judge of this. So, oh, 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 my longest ruler. This is uh three, a little over three and a half inches by a little under five inches. There you go. And then this guy is three and a half, pretty exact. And almost four and a half. No, I'd say four and a half. Boom. Three and a half by four and a half. Thank and then you. this guy is almost four by a little over four. There you go. Thank you so Nailed much. It. Oh, you didn't get to see any of that. <laughs> we were on monkey paws. I'm sorry, I forgot. Well, that it was more the information now. that you needed than your visual. Yeah, but you could have seen it with the ruler next to it. Do you want me to? Oh. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> what is happening with your face? You took an eyelash out and you coughed. <laughs> <laughs> How is this all set up? I don't understand the mechanics of you. <laughs> Why don't you get me? Okay, so um, <laughs> scratch my nose. We've done I our monkey pee. paws afterward. <laughs> we just gently shake out our hands to loosen them back up. Ha ha ha! Oh, are you taking off your jacket? Too? I am. It's hot. Black. It's hot in here. Eat it. So take off all your clothes. Uh, all right. So and then we like to do some shoulder rolls to loosen those up. Maybe you remember to unclench your jaw. And then do some neck stretches. We go. Uh, <laughs> Put your ear as high as you can on one side. And then flip flop to the other side, getting that ear high and mighty. And then back again. Good job, everybody. You're doing it. You're doing it. And then we look as far as we can to the side while being comfortable still. And then to the other side. And back again. There and back again. A hobbit's tail by Bilbo Baggins. We did it! I still haven't it. watched the Hilda movie yet. That's weird. I know! We haven't either! It is very weird. I wanted to see it immediately when it came out, and then we just haven't made time for it. Strange. Strange times, these are. Okay, so. I want to wiggle my leg noodles a little bit. You want to see my pants? They're new. We got pockets. Whoa. Uh -oh. 
Yeah. Pocket pants. <laughs> I also have pocket <laughs> pants. It's exciting. They're white. <laughs> oh, they're white? How can you get white pants? I know. Wow. I've had to put them in the washer immediately a few times. <laughs> <laughs> immediately. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Okay, let's go back to our black uh, void back here. To black. And I go back to black. Uh, I'm thinking, I am thinking for the one I love. Are you Snow White? What is happening? Yeah, I am. Good job. That's you amazing. Guys. You're doing that voice really well. I always was impressed by the warble quality that she had. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the real warble happens in Over the Garden Wall in that tavern. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna look back at my sketchbook to get some inspo for some foliage. Oh, um, you, according to Jake, in a kind of roundabout way, are a really bad judge of time. He went back in the video and said, you painted on the dark background and set it aside oh for about 20 God. to 25 minutes, but I'm sure it dried before then. <laughs> Jake, stop. <laughs> Call me out like this. <laughs> Jeez. Actually, the like record it. shows. <laughs> uh, Dark Hour says, I was going to say 15 minutes to dry. And then oh, everyone's man. impressed by the warble. It is really good. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I didn't think that was going to be the impressive thing. I thought my time call out would be the impressive thing, but apparently it's very it, unimpressive. Also, no, fact. it was really impressive how far off you were. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you could be impressive and wrong at the same time. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's just, oh, there's so much beat up on Anna. It's a lot to handle. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <sighs> you're welcome. You started it. Oh, more warble. Oh, I like all of these. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I was thinking of doing flowers like this. I really like when they have like just a gigantic inner hoof. What is that called? Mm. You took a botany class. I sure did. Impress me with your knowledge. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> it's not a Sir! stamen when it's mm. that big, right? I don't know. Is it? Huge? No, it's it's not the stamen. It's the like on a sunflower, the middle part. Sunflower seeds. That's where all the seeds are, right? Yeah, so what flower is anatomy. Oh, I think I might go like this big route. Part. I want the big one for the big drum. Be a last love, everlasting you and me. Are you guys impressed by my Adele? Hmm. It's exactly like her. Oh, I was what you told me. Give me a different kind of flower. All of these flowers just have the anthers with the stamen, or the anthers with the stamen, and then the stigma. The anthers with the stamen, boots with the fur, with the fur. <laughs> Looking like her. Okay, so um, we hit the flow. Next thing you know. Shout out low, 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 low. Okay, I gotta stop. Uh, I'm going to wash out my brush because it had pure yellow and I'm going to pure purple. Can't have none of that. What am I gonna do? Flower? <gasps> stop capitulating. No. Can't modulate the key to not debate with me. I don't know why that reminded me of it, but capitulation, uh, capitulating is in some kind of rap that I've heard at some point. It's a great word. Is it Eminem? It might be. Why I believe you. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some ferny ferns. So I'm going to, I'm choosing this guy as inspiration. So the Ferny Fern friends are going to be the background where they're kind of closest to the value of our black. So I'm going to go for a moderately lighter purple. We'll see how it dries because everything dries darker. Uh, and then on top of it, I would like to probably do like some colored pencil stems where we create kind of a cool branching out pattern. And then the little tufts of something on top. We will see. We will see what color we're going to go for. Um, the branching possibilities I really like in one of these. Jake says apparently it's called a flower head or floral disc. 
I'm seeing that too. <laughs> That's weird. Disc. I don't remember learning that in the class I took. Maybe we just didn't look at as those kinds of plants. <laughs> don't look over there. Don't ask questions about that kind of plant. Uh, okay, so this is what I was looking for. The branching, um, what I really like is when you have a bunch of branches going out in a branching pattern, whoa, and then it gets cut off very cleanly where it's like a shape, you know? It just makes a definitive shape with the ends of it. So that's the goal. But we're gonna start just with some ferny bits. And any of this can change at any time, so watch out! Because you never know, actually. Uh, sketchy sketch, so burny burns. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? There we go. Okay, so now we've got some very light lines to follow for our friends. I think we're going to need a lot more white to make this more opaque. Maybe even some more purple. So that's what I'm doing. Everyone's so Are impressed you... with these booklets. You should tell Julia to make a thousand more. They them. are truly amazing and so in like just inspiring. Like, look how much bleed through. None. It's amazing. This is like black. What the heck? And then also just they're so beautiful. Like, look at that. And imagine you could paint your designs on the inside and the outside. This is a special material that she said she got in an art shop in China. So don't know how re replicatable that is, but just, you know, the idea. You should try making your own sketchbooks. It is cool. Can you guys even see this? Yeah, it's coming through. A little bit? Yeah. Cool. Okay, whoa. That came through more. Again, we're just using the brush as our mark making tool, basically. And I definitely don't need these to be perfect, so the looser the better. This is one of the reasons I love Fernie shapes is just because they, they come together so quickly and they make such a statement. They're just like, I'm here. You know what I am. Decorative and beautiful. Also, ferns are everywhere in the Pacific Northwest. Anthony and I have gone on many a walk in a ferny forest. Love them. Most of the forests are ferny. It's hard to Indeed. avoid them. They're beautiful. I hate ferns. I don't want to be around them. No, Too bad. Said no one. <laughs> said no one. Exactly. Larissa in the chat asking, is this gouache? It is gouache. Yes. So we put down a background of purple... Uh, grayish dark purple which like comes out basically is black and uh it is gouache on top as well we are going with a purple as well but with a lot of white in it so it's reading a little bit better and i'm uh sketching on it with colored pencil which lays down on the gouache surprisingly well i have to say Whoop. Sometimes I like doing like a whole side at a time with these, but then other times I just go in and like go back and forth, back and forth. It's up to what you feel. Although I have to say when I'm doing these little leafy bits on uh, top of a sourdough loaf before baking, Kendall knows what it's like. You like put a bunch of flour on top and then carve into it. Uh, I don't have a lom, which is the like fancy way of doing it, but I have a sharp knife that I use and so with that, I always go down one side and then the other because I've done it where I went back and forth and they totally mismatch. <laughs> Happens very easily. I don't know if that was funny to anybody else, but I find it funny. Anthony, you're supposed to laugh. I was uh, not paying attention to what you said, so I was <laughs> weighing whether or not I should laugh if it was a real joke or not. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Good one. It's so Thank funny. You. Oh, Were you talking about gosh. bread? Yes. Loms. Again. Long loms. Long loms. You long for a lom? I do. Someday I'll get a lom. Sometimes I've had it in my basket <laughs> when shopping. I'm like, I'm going to get a lom and I'm going to get a real proofing basket. But then I'm like, I don't need them. They're just the fancy version of what I use. 
What are you proofing I have, now? Uh, right now I line a uh, colander, which is like a fine mesh kind of colander that we have, and then um, just a towel, and then I put tapioca flour in there, which doesn't stick to the dough. So it all works. I'm not complaining. And honestly, there are things that I should get more than that because they're actual things that we need. <laughs> and I don't need to be spending on something that's like an unnecessary want. You say that, but you make bread for people. I do, but I make it perfectly fine with the tools that I have. But could you make more, well, more efficiently with the other stuff? I don't think it would really change anything, honestly. Like I do the exact same thing. So it's not really that groundbreaking. As far as I know, again, I have never used them. So I'm not sure if it would be like, oh, those cuts are so much cleaner or whatever could be better. <laughs> I don't think it's that world changing. But uh, that's why I like bread baking is it really doesn't take a lot to get into. It's like buying the flowers should really be the most expensive part. And flour is not that crazy expensive when you think of how much you can get. All right, so we've got some ferny friends. Look at those. Ooh, wait, is it this side? Can you spell Ooh. lom? Did you spell lom out loud yet? L A M E. Lame. <laughs> get along. <laughs> I like that. Why don't you just get along? Kindle says, the lom does make a difference if you have dull knives like we do. I keep trying to sharpen them, but they never are sharp. And Corey always wanted to try bread making, dot, dot, dot. Corey, try bread making. It's great. I will, if you want, I can put up on the Discord and the food channel, uh, or Snackaroo, sorry. Uh, there is a foolproof method of making an olive loaf that you do not have to do any sourdough starter or anything like that. It has active dry yeast and Kalamata olives. Those are like the fancy things. And then everything else is just salt, flour, water. It's awesome. Okay. What do you bake it in? Well, I bake it in a Dutch oven. That what did my you bake it very in nicely before that? Bequeathed me. Uh, I did a cast iron pan with a cake pan over top of it, upside down. Do you need something <laughs> like with a lid? Cast yeah. Like that? No, you just need something with a lid. The whole thing about the lid is that it's just holding in moisture as it's uh, baking, and so it doesn't harden on the outside and then not rise anymore it's like still rising because it's wet basically Could you do it in a pot just any old pot if it had a lid and it was oven safe up to what temperature uh with that one i think it's 460 i want to say oh, okay that's getting up there oh sorry <laughs> so close and yet so far I'm gonna do some dots up here of this like purple. Are you thinking Have about you ever... embellishing the leaves on the ferns any? Larissa is suggesting a light blue at the edges, maybe. Ooh, definitely. Anything is possible. Honestly, I don't think of any of these as like finished. I just think of them as like they're this way until we change them. <laughs> so we can always embellish further. I really have that Snow White song stuck in my head. Wishing well. You know the underrated Disney song, though, is that um, Cinderella one? Sing sweet nightingale. And she's like washing and the bubbles go by. It's like a whole experience. I love it. What's Honestly, the most popular song from Sleeping bed. Beauty? Oh, sorry. I, did I say Sleeping Beauty? It was Cinderella. Um, and I keep on sticking my hand in the paint, so this is really not ideal. Did you uh, Sleeping, Beauty? Sleeping Beauty, I think Once Upon a... Or wait, no. What is it called? I remember you. I know you. I, Dance with you Once Upon a Dream. Once Upon a Dream. That's it, right? Right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. I'd say that's the biggest bop. But, I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. That's the one I have on I my Disney listened. playlist. 
<gasps> I don't have Sing Sweet and Nightingale from Cinderella on there. Sounds like maybe I well, should. Why not? Yeah, you should. Especially for before bed. That's what I was gonna say. Is like we should all listen to that before bed. I think it would be a really relaxing song. We're listening to some pretty relaxing tunes right now. Is it? Yeah. Tell me. Um, sure. We're currently listening to Star Searcher from Harris Heller. Ooh, I like star searching. That's uh Maybe I'll watch Flash Gordon. The movie. Never watched it, but I think I know the song that you're referring to. Flash. Ah. Uh. Uh, did you know that was it Queen did the entire soundtrack for it? Just dedicated to that movie. Completely just for it. I think maybe that's why I know about it. This is dry. I'm gonna try some red on or wait, this is orange. I wanna try some red. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so over top of the this one. You can see the red. Can you see it? Just a little smidge. A little tiny bit, a little ickle trickle. I'm trying to make something happen. Yeah, you can barely see it. Maybe, oh, let's try this purple. This is a watercolor purple. It's a little darker. Oh, interesting. So you can see right here, the purple. Can oh, you yeah. see that? It's coming a lot yeah, through, yeah. or coming through a lot more than the red is. I want to redo this one. I think having smaller leaves and more of um, like this leaf pattern would be really fun. Because mm -hmm. this was the one where I experimented with like curving leaf, like, I don't know, drawing, what do you call it? Like directionally pointing the viewer with branches. Leading lines. <laughs> so I was trying. Yeah, leading lines. Good job. Reading rainbow. Wait, Thank was you. that done with uh, all gouache? Or is that what? pen and then gouache leaves? Oh, this is just uh, colored pencil. Oh, it's just colored pencil. This isn't pencil. a totally different book. Yeah, this is all colored pencil. Oh, cool. Yeah. With the, uh, the flower beds. Uh, flower discs? Is that disc? what we decided they were calling? The flower discs, yes. Look at those flower discs. Wow, they're massive. Floral sure. disc, flower head. <laughs> it's a floral disc, you flower head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh. Oh, sorry. I was thinking with this one, we could draw with pen, but then I want to do a wash of something underneath first. So, what are we going to draw? Let's sketch for a mo. I wanted to do something recently. Eh, it's fine. Uh, okay, so I think tiger because I like tigers right now very, very much. We're gonna do a little goofy little tiger, almost like a frog head. Uh, and then let's make it like, I don't know, goofy. And then <laughs> is that weird? Hmm, I don't know. I don't like that. What? It's goofy. What are you laughing at? You nailed it. <laughs> what if I was drawing and I was like, I wanted to be goofy and I literally drew the character goofy. How would you feel about that? <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> Tarkower Correct says response. this is a tangent, but Anna, when you publish yeah. your book, I can't wait to hear you do the audiobook for it. Are there audiobooks for <laughs> children's books? Don't they go by pretty quick? <laughs> Uh, and then rabbity rabbit went babbity babbity babbity. What are you talking about? That's not how you would do it. Oh, what would it be like? And then rabbity 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 went babbity babbity babbity. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you 
think too highly of yourself. Oh! That's not something I never, ever need to hear. <laughs> think too highly of yourself. How dare you? Uh, chunky tail? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So forget that. Forget yeah, the overhead tail. I can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe ya. Uh, Everyone's siding with you. Like, you don't think too highly of yourself. They agree <laughs> that you would read it in a very posh, non-funny voice. <laughs> uh, as if. What if it's sticking out its little tongue? Would you like that? Yeah, and this it has is for you teeth. now, Anthony. No, it's just got a little tongue. It's just a little tongue? How do you know it's a tiger? What? It needs teeth. How do you not know it's a tiger? Strippity stripes. So what we're going to do is lay down some color behind this one, and then we're going to do a line drawing over it. Drawer. Rawr. You get it? Drawing. That's how you know it's a tiger. El Tigre. Okay, so uh let's do hey, we have orange right here. Ha ha ha! It's like I planned ahead. I didn't at all. Okay, water it up. You're in the palette. Hold me. on, here I go. Woo. Oh, I'm here. I'm all over it. I have purple still in my brush, that's why it's getting darker. <laughs> I am so impatient when I wash out my brushes. It's true. I really am. But that's okay. We just get interesting colors that way, right? This is another hot tip for all of y'all listening. Is uh, the red is so much stronger of a pigment than any other pigments in any other tube. So it's definitely going to be overwhelming if you mix it with something else and yellow is usually the weakest so you're going to need a lot more yellow to a little bit of red to make orange if that makes sense okay let's do now we want white areas and i totally remember where the white goes on a tiger because i am a pro at this it's all an experiment grand Eyebrows, leave those pips white. When was the last time you pet a dog? Tomorrow. <laughs> That's crazy. The heck? Cecil's How coming over for his birthday party tomorrow. Gotcha. That's exciting. How old is he? One. One? Oh, such a big boy. Oh my goodness. Well, give him an extra pet for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is he going to get a special cake or anything? Cupcakes. Sammy's making them. <gasps> or we're making them tonight. For sure. Oh, really? Nicely done. Prepping beforehand. You guys are hostesses with the mostesses. Heck, yeah. Love it. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure what pup cake means, but I think that means I can't eat it. So I think we're also <laughs> making a cake. I can't eat it. I think you could, but would you like it? I don't know. Depends. Have you ever eaten dog food? Well, not dog food. That's weird. Dog biscuits. Yes. <laughs> That's food that dogs can <laughs> Anthony, cheating your way. Listen, milk bones Listen. sound good and taste good in the cabinet while everybody else is in the living room playing Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis. <laughs> this happened last week. <laughs> Boy. Jake says, I have eaten a dog biscuit. Yeah. One? I believe just, it. Just one? <laughs> just, just the one. A dog biscuit, yes. 
I mean, Sailor. it depends on whether you liked it. <laughs> Jake says, I think Milk Bone is the kind uh, I had too. The 90s were weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rite of passage. Agreed, man. Uh, are the back of Tiger's ears black or orange? You said they were like eyes to trick their... They have a white dot. White dot, then. I think, well, yeah, it's white dot, but is it on a back, back or an orange background? Black. You shall see. For the contrast effect. Tiger, you are correct. says. You are correct. Oh, yeah, it's LT Gray. Oh, they're so beautiful. You can see the black or Whoa, whoa, whoa. Edge. Oh, look at that guy. Can you see? I know it's a tiger now. Look at those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> it's laughing hysterically. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's that Luigi clip that I'm familiar what? with. <laughs> oh, that you are familiar with. Thank you for letting us in on that joke. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to do another tiger over here. This page I really feels feel very it. Celeste and Luna. Lumi. 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 Oh my gosh! Oh, look at that! Doesn't it? Celeste, it feels me. very spiritual successor of that. I could see that if it had more of a purple rather than orange and yellow. Yeah. I have feelings about this one. It's mainly the leaves that I have problems with, which is totally fine because it's, it's just leaves. You know, you can you can do it again, Anna. Okay. Dark Horse uh, says, "I mean, we've all eaten pet food at least once." Yes, correct. Have we? If you haven't, you're not there yet. You'll know when you're there once you have, and you'll know what that means. I am very confused and obviously not there yet. Sounds awkward. Specifically, milk bone biscuits. Pretty good. I don't know what those are like, so I really can't. You're a I can't relate to you. I'm a tiger? human. No, I'm letting it dry. Oh. Okay. Also, I'm giving you what you want. Teeth. Oh, wait, should I do the... <laughs> Show me your teeth. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this is how tigers are, by the way. They have, like, one big clown nose in the middle. Kendall says it's apparently the year of the water tiger. What makes it... Water, water tiger. tiger? I believe it's the... the well, it, it corresponds with, like, every 12 years, there's a different material. I think Kendall can maybe expound on that. Wood is one of them, right? Is metal? Would you rather? Yes, it is. But then one metal, of the typical ones water. that you usually think of with like the four elements isn't one of them. If I'm recalling my Wikipedia search Air, years ago, water, earth, fire, wood. These are the nations. Wood. You rather. I'm getting very close to the end of the Kiyoshi book. <gasps> are you excited or scared or apprehensive? Yes. What do you feel? Oof. <laughs> Just all of it. Page 223 will make you cry. Oh no. Jake says heart. Soul. Horseshoes and blue moons. Pots of golden rainbow and a red balloon. These 12 elements combined. <laughs> summon Captain Avatar. Cap. An avatar. Wood, Gotta fire, gotcha. earth, water, gold. G -g 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 gold, baby. No oh, is that really what they are? I suppose that's that what Kendall said. I need a good pink. I guess I can get that. Can I has? I can has. Dottie says, as a beginner, even the littlest idea is good. Drawing first in light pencil. I feel I always want to dive in with a dark ink, but this gives me the confidence to scribble around. Scribble around. Truly. Scribble around. This is actually like the perfect ink. Dark and mauve -y. Dark Hour says uniqueness, nerve, and talent. These three is elements that... can <gasps> Exactly. It's all we ever wanted. Is that from a show or something? Or is it just Kendall's brilliant mind? Well, that was Dark Hours. Wait, oh, it was Joe. Oh, gosh, you guys. I can't keep anything up in track. I can't keep track of anything. <gasps> Even my thoughts. <laughs> Hair. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy said, when you choke on your own hair. Shush, uh, boy. You're not supposed to acknowledge what I mess up. 
Is it messing up? I just thought it was part of who you were, and I like it. Ow! My heart, my soul. I mean, it happens every stream. It's literally every two seconds of my life. It's so unfortunate. I really should just shave my head. It's just not working out. You should. I haven't earned my hair. What? It's because you haven't had a biscuit yet. <laughs> Have a biscuit. You're not yourself when you haven't eaten. <laughs> <clears throat> Dark Hour says it's from bone. RuPaul's Drag Race, I believe. Oh. Dark Hour says, Anthony, you are feisty today. Anna started it and I told her I would deliver it back, so here it is. Oh my god. <laughs> if she wanted me to be nice to her, she'd be nice to me. <laughs> Jake says, this is what it's like to I've chew five had. gum. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Those commercials are intense. Indeed. This is what it's like to chew five gum. I haven't seen one of those in a, like a decade. Was the last so one are you they remember still going? The one where he goes into a giant spherical type of ride machine and then it like starts generating ice all around him. Does that sound familiar? Kind of? Because yeah. that's basically what they are. <laughs> it's like that kind of vibe. Um, I remember, I think it was somebody going out onto like a massive subwoofer and it was like bouncing Ooh, these bits. That was the was one like, with Julia Louis Dreyfus. Like. <laughs> what? Don't you ever just insert who you what want to be in the way? commercial? Oh my gosh, I haven't until now. I didn't know that was an opportunity. <laughs> it's an opportunity, an let me tell you. So, what's the opportunity cost, Anthony? <laughs> Oh, the you actor that actually got the job didn't get recognition. Aww, that's so sad. Sorry. Sorry. Um, who do I want in a commercial? Julia Louise Dreyfus in, in all commercials. In Five Gum, is particularly, I think, I think would be amazing. I would love if just like a straight, like okay, you remember the the ads for Lilo and Stitch, yeah? No. The ad? What? You mean like the trailer? Yes. What do you mean? No, ads? they had commercials. They had commercials for Lilo and Stitch where they were trying to tease it, but it was not from the movie. This was twenty years ago. You don't remember them? They stand out in my mind so vividly. I remember going to see Lilo and Stitch with Lizzie and Amber at the Sherwood Cinemas. Cute. But I don't remember. Oh, <sighs> the commercial. Sherwood Cinema. Aww. Remember that was like um, the new fancy one. Heck yes. No, I and remember. Bridgeport very came much. along and nobody went to sure what it they were. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> it was new for like a year. <laughs> so, uh, what we were going to, uh, I was going to say it was uh, the Lilo and Stitch ads were an ad for a Disney movie. Like, say you're at a, in Aladdin, the movie is happening. Like, I can show you the world. And then Stitch comes along on his. <laughs> on his uh in his oh, ship yeah. and he's like hey baby hello <laughs> he was like <laughs> going into the different movies i totally remember that yes it was so good literally uh beauty and the beast uh Get your all own the time movie. is playing <laughs> and then he goes up and like he's on the ceiling as you pan across literally the same scene from the movie is happening and yeah. he's on the ceiling going across and goes onto the chandelier and breaks it and it smashes onto the and then she like the storms out, right? Ad campaign. Yeah. And then she says, of course. Like, Get your own. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that was the best ad campaign, other than the travel organ one, in my opinion. What are you because... talking about? What about the game that we saw recently with the grandma that's going through the house and like twisting the nipples on the statue? By the way, do you know that that is Kathy Bates? <gasps> what? Literally, a commercial hired her. Yeah. That was Kathy Bates? Yeah. Why don't I know that? Because <laughs> I replaced her with Julia Louise Dreyfus. <laughs> I always replace her with Julia Louise Dreyfus. Anyways, what I was going to say is the best ad that they could do with Julia Louise Dreyfus as a this is five gum kind of thing is if she walks in as Elaine and just reacts to the situation. <laughs> She's so great. What if, like, it's a, a five gum ad X like featuring Seinfeld. So it's an ad for both of them. And the Seinfeld cast just walks into a five gum commercial. Okay. Okay. Can you it. imagine? Yes, I, I would love it. <laughs> I'm very hyped for this. So let's make it happen. Captain. Have you watched any of it on Netflix since it's been on there? I think it recently got uploaded in like October or something. 
I don't think so. It's been quite a few moons since I watched Seinfeld. Kendall says I, I remember, remember it all. <laughs> Kendall says I remember watching a parody of people doing tech videos that are just 30 minutes of their hands in a phone, but the guy spent the whole time talking about five gum and I laughed way too hard. As a <laughs> middle schooler. And Jake says I saw a TikTok where it was a cat on catnip and the voiceover was like, This is what it's like to five. This is what it's This is true like to, to five. five. And just kept mixing up the phrase and it was hilarious. <laughs> people are so clever oh my gosh seriously though you know how there's like advertisement where they like try to make a weird ad they just need to like i get it i get that weird works sometimes but i feel like they could be more creative with it where instead of just being random or whatever it's like they work with internet people to like figure out what would actually be popular jake said i do not remember that it is kathy bates wow it's kathy bates y'all it kills me but like in the best way i love it so much that she's in it and i was like they they did such a good job with her makeup and stuff i thought it was just an actor that they got to make look like the 3d model because there's like animated versions of these characters but it's kathy bates <laughs> <laughs> I breathed life into the, the thing. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Kathy Bates where now? <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Bates who is it? What's it? I don't remember uh, the name of this game. I think Jake has it. Jake do you? Yeah. But I know it. It's in my brain somewhere. It's, 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 it's. It's a race between you and Jake. And he's. Oh no. Merge, he's gonna win. Merge Mansion. Merge Mansion. He wins. Darn you he Jake knowing wins. everything. He always wins. Stop it. Bates Motel would have been better, huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we should play Untitled Goose Game together. <laughs> okay. Huh? <laughs> You're just happy with me honking. <laughs> He likes me honking. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's apparently a whole YouTube page with a lot more. I love that a lot more. goose game. What are you having on? We can play together. There's multiplayer now. I think they added cool up. Cool up. That's awesome. Play it. For me. Get that white. Da -da -da -da. It's like white under a pile of other colors. This is what always happens when painting. Mood mode. Nailed it. Mood mode. Oh, is this mood mode? Not anymore. Did I make mood mode? It's gone. I want it to be mood mode. It's not mood mode. Mood mode. Mood Anthony's joke made my stream mode. lag. Wait, what did I even <laughs> say? I don't remember. Mood mode. Duh. Kathy Bates Motel. Is that what it was? Is that a joke? Or just <laughs> words? Oh, sorry. Were you joking? <laughs> Was that supposed to be a joke? I love it when you honk. <laughs> She's been honking for the past two minutes straight. Honk, honk. Oh my gosh. Sorry for everybody's ears. We have about 10 minutes left in today's mixed media. Mixed media stream. Well, we're definitely going to draw really the tigers. You're really ducking down in your frame over there, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, I have posture. Don't call me out. I could adjust the camera if you want me to. No, no, no. Actually, I should be sitting up more straight. Uh, this is the pull of... Oh, well, honestly, this this isn't the ideal setup for this. Uh, ideally, I would have a drafting desk, which is something that you can tilt Do you want one? so that you don't go over. Actually, I think I still have one <laughs> um, in my parents' garage, I believe. That's where mine is, but, too. Yeah. I don't know. Um, first of all, if it's still there, I'm going to sneeze again. <sighs> ah, sorry. Well, you sorry, sneezed out of focus. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh, I'm watching myself. And I did. I did sneeze out of focus. <laughs> ah! So wait, I'm still too low. I'm sorry. No, low. right now. You're fine. Here. You're up there. I could. Yeah, right now I am. Drop it lower. Because I cropped Drop in it on low, it. Drop it low, bring it up slow. Cropped in on it. 
lean into where it's comfortable and I'll try to get it close. Look, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I do it? Yeah, that's yeah? way better. Yeah? Yeah. See, I told you I could fix my camera and you were like, no, 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 I'll do everything. Well, because I cropped in, so I figured I could just scale it and move it. Move it! Okay. I wonder if that messed up everything else that I did, though. I'm going to go back to big face this week. Oh, look at us. We're big. Hi! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Nah, that's fine. Okay, cool. Beep, bop. Beep, 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 bop, bop, boop, bop. Everybody beep, says bop. bless you in a million different languages in the chat. Oh, thank you. Arigato. Uh... Let's thank you in other languages. Obrigado. Oh Gracias. Obrigado. Uh, what about German? Danke. Remember? We Danke, Sean. I do. Um, what's another one? Merci. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I almost mm -hmm. knocked over my drinking water. Everybody drink water. Remember to stay hydrate. Let's pen this tiger. What is it in Hawaiian? It starts with an M. Mahalo? Is that right? I think Mahalo is welcome, isn't it? I, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> Talking to the wrong person, baby. <laughs> we know this because it's in Lilo and Stitch, and when we went to Hawaii, we talked about it. I okay, I'm going to test something. Zuzu says oh in Mandarin, gosh, people like say, bots. live long um, to 100 years old if you sneeze. Live long to 100 years old. I really like in that. In the Philippines, it's something that translates to, may your sickness go on to a rock. Here, rock, take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh... <laughs> Mahalo plenty. That's how I remember it. Mahalo means thank you, and when people say mahalo plenty, they are saying thank you very much. Oh, mahalo plenty. Mahalo plenty. M-A-H-A-L-O. Mahalo. I think. Jake says, my roommate in college yelled at the end of his sneezes, like, ah, true! Ah, I don't believe you. <laughs> just sounds like a lie <laughs> oh. oh man it, it reminds me of my dad uh <laughs> you know his thesis <laughs> ha chili bob afterwards and then says like what <laughs> you have something to say <laughs> like aggressively it's bait <laughs> oh my mic probably is like you you're so loud <laughs> so i have to turn you down I don't know. Is that why I got quiet? It could be. It's fine now, right? You sound good to me. Thanks. You're welcome. For the wonderful world you know. You're welcome. It's You're coming welcome. back. My sound. It's on its way. Ah! Now, come to think of it. Wow, listen to you go. <laughs> wow, listen to you go. I mean, uh, he's a pretty good tiger. <laughs> Kendall asks, why is my brain only redirecting to Disney's Johnny Tsunami every time Anthony says Mahalo? It's gotta be in there. It's gotta be. Apparently, that's a thing. Rin says, I don't remember the Johnny Tsunami. Mushroom nose. Mm, the little mushroom. It's true. It's exactly like the cut uh, side of a mushroom. Oh, yeah. Dog noses in general, I feel like, look like that. Yas. Yas. We have about five yes, minutes. Tiger. Left. Good thing we're inking these guys. Because they are, they're quick ones to ink, but they're also. Uh, I don't know. They're prone to a lot of things happening quickly, I guess. 
<laughs> well, sorry. Happy accidents, you know. This feels very inspired by Miyazaki's tiger drawing. <laughs> his goofy little tiger. I love his tiger. Me too. Pretty cute. Wait, you didn't paint the tail. I'm... Oh, oh. <laughs> I was gonna be like, I'm doing it, Anthony! <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, it's white. Oh, it is? Yeah. It is, it is. Well, it, like, goes from... Well, at least... Okay. Uh-huh. All tigers are unique, just like human beings, and they should be celebrated for their uniqueness. But, uh, the... Tip of it is just pure. The, I, well, no, the uh, tip is black. Okay. But, the, yeah, it does, like, a transition, okay, or at least that. in my reference, it transitions from orange to white, and then it has the stripes over top. So there you go. There's our little friend. Cute. Cute. You just all get out. And then we've got another friend. Aha! <laughs> what? It's just a mouth and a mask. <laughs> Sleepy. Winky. <laughs> <laughs> what are more? <laughs> Tell me all of them. Keep drawing. I'll keep going. <laughs> Smirky. You know how I do. And uh, then this is stripes through his fur. That's all I know. This is all a grand experiment, as I've said multiple times. Make a sound effect and then do something with your hand at the same time. Why? To see if there's a very big delay between your audio and your video. Oh, yeah, there is. I've been looking at the uh, replays and meaning to talk to you about it. <laughs> um, because in the replays, it always seems like I am out of sync. That's weird. Uh, at least by the end, it seems like a time thing. But yeah, I don't know exactly why that is or how to fix it. So Me either. We're just glad the stream isn't crashing every 14 minutes. <laughs> Truly. But uh, my plan is to very soon find the time <laughs> to, uh, what do you call it? Get OBS Factory reset back my computer so that I can. Your computer. And then I'll be yes. out of sync all the time. But that will be fine. Exactly. I can't wait. Cannot wait. Sure. I think his mouth is something to be desired, but uh, there's a little tigre friend, and I think that's fun. And I think that's um, fun. It looks like a marshmallow. I, I hope you turn all gargly and green one of these days. I feel like it's something to do with being piped through OBS. That was a very weird wish for me to be gargly and green. Why would you wish that on someone? Because it happens to me all the time, and I want to know <laughs> that it's not just me. It's not just you, Anthony. It's not just you. Suzu says the tiger looks like he has a cavity. Ouch. Oh, poor baby. I, I hope that all of you have really good dental health, and I wish you uh, garbly good greenness. cleanings. Garbly greenness. <laughs> Definitely not in the mouth. Don't gargle green stuff. Listerine? Unless, I guess, yeah, Listerine could be green. I use the blue stuff, so yeah, I don't know. Too. Why is that? Is blue just better? Well, it's the one Costco Have you ever has. tried green? Uh, gotcha. Is that where you get yours? Indeed. We have a gigantic jug of it. Yeah, two of them. Gigantic. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. But it's Costco. That's how it do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that. The little things on there don't love the colors of this completely but uh don't hate them completely either it's fine i love it it reminds me of That's nausicaa good. in the valley of the wind oh i could see that there's yeah. some funky stuff in that uh jungle toxic jungle that's true also ohms oh no you didn't kindle says oh! some ancient traits posted tony the tiger Posted Tony the Tiger with Lunar New Year designs. Cute! Oh, I like that. What subtle Asian traits? Do you have a link to that? profile? Possibly. Alessandra says, 
These look great. They're so great, and I love them all. Aww, that's really sweet. Has to go to the dentist pretty soon. Relates to that tiger. Uh, oh, that sucks. Oh, what was Hope it you it wanted goes with well. these? Was it blue tips or something? Yeah, I think that's what someone in the chat was saying earlier. Some blue fringe around the edges. Fringe. Like that? Great. Wit? Subtle Asian Traits is a Facebook group, but they also have an Instagram you can follow. And we posted a link in the chat. Tony the Tiger. Where are you? I need to see Tony. It's great! Wait. I don't think it's on their Instagram yet. Tony. Tony. It's got a lot in common with Dora. Exploring the world. I deleted Facebook. Do you want to get yeah. a screenshot of that and post it on Discord somewhere? If you have the time, Kindle? Because it sounds cool. Have you got the time, Anthony? To sign it back up for Facebook? No, I don't. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Alessandra's insurance wasn't won't cover it. And it's too expensive to go get treatment for it. Well, that sucks even more. Dang. Yes, I know. <sighs> Insurance. Everyone should have it. Or we have a new system that works better. Something has to change. Kindle's working on it. Thanks, awesome. Kindle. <laughs> We're at five o'clock once you finish ah, spikifying these guys. <laughs> no need. <laughs> No need, he says. For all of that. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna darken <laughs> or lighten Ooh, these lines. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's Ooh, good. yeah, that's good. that's good. Do you remember the spores from the toxic jungle? Do you think you could put some stuff around the purpley bits floating in the background? Give them like a Something luminous around? quality. Yeah. Yeah. Is that working? Yeah, that's working. Yeah. Oh, that's working. It's all for you, Anthony. What's the last Ghibli movie you watched? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, when we had HBO, I was watching all of them, trying to see as many as I possibly could before it went away. Yeah. I think the last one was like The Cat Returns or something like that. Oh, and you hadn't seen that one before, is that right? I had not. It's true. What'd you think? I loved it. I thought it was a lovely jaunt. Um, I was just suggesting to my niece that she needs to see Ponyo because I think she would really yeah, enjoy it. Ashley hasn't and seen I asked it her. They should watch it together. <sighs> Um, obviously <laughs> uh yeah that's something that like oh you gotta watch as a ghibli lover uh because it's it's among my favorite ones to just for rewatchability it's got such a great mood and makes me happy um so yeah i i think that i might get that for her birthday arlo if you're watching look away <laughs> spoilers <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Very nice. It's a very cool piece, which is very different than my usual ones. I usually drift towards much warmer color palettes, so this is pretty unique. I like it. That's good. Dark mode. Mood mode. Yeah, I think that uh, we learned a lot and we started going in different directions, which is interesting. Like, this was one of our first ones, and I definitely can see where, like, we improved throughout. <laughs> um and that's kind of the journey that I wanted is to figure some stuff out technically to like make sure that we were uh, understanding the materials limitations and then making something that's just fun. So I'm I'm feeling like we got our gold done today. Yeah, creating in mixed yeah, media. Yeah, sure did it. Exactly. Zuzu says yeah. neat and whimsical. <laughs> and then Dark Hour says dark mode. Yes, let the darkness flow through you. Uh, Kendall says, right. yay for sketchbook streams. Yes. Thanks and once again, everybody. shout out to Julia for giving me these sketchbooks and these paints because you're filling them up. Quick. Them. She's going to have to send more. <laughs> Honestly, I am so inspired these days, apparently. 
Traditional media! Yay! Any idea what we're going to be doing next week? Are we going back to cat stuff? or? I honestly don't know what the future holds. Uh, we will see. We will see what happens. Because I... No, oh, Ryan's already really dropping by to you. say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, what up? <laughs> hey, Ryan, we're just saying goodbye. But uh, we painted a bunch of stuff this stream. Had a lot of fun. This is your tiger. This one's for oh, you. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. I forgot I need to give him little dimples. You know where the um the whiskers come out of? Yeah. On a lot of felines, there's like little dots. So I'm gonna just add those. Uh, come, come on. Come on. There we go. Beep beep pop, beep, beep, pop, beep, pop, beep, pop, pop. You have six <laughs> whiskers. <laughs> Uh, and the, what was I gonna say? Woo. The next stream, I, I kind of am feeling it out by ear, whether I feel like doing traditional stuff. And so far I've felt like it three times in a row. So maybe it'll continue into next week, but we will just have to see. Uh, if you want to see these 11 up close. 11 whiskers. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're counting the Jake whole time? Was. You punk. Oh, Jake, I you're the six, punk. I said six, he said 11. Perfect. 611. Ah! So, uh, what I was going to say is I'm going to like scan these or and or take good pictures of them and put them on Patreon so that people can see like the up close detail and texture of all of it. Uh, so if you want to check that out, $3 a month and it, you get behind the scenes of whatever I'm doing as well as wallpapers of what I create. And uh, yeah, this this has been a lot of fun. We will see if it continues to next week, but we will be back on Tuesday, 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific. Uh, if you want to know every single time we are or are not streaming, join the Discord. There is a link above the chat as well as in the description uh, so that you can uh, know every single time that we go live because there's going to be a notification that goes out to everyone. Thank you for joining. Anthony, yeah. is there anything you'd like to say before we leave? Thanks to everybody else who joined in and thanks to the people over on Discord and the paint along who were painting along and then posting some right. of their work on the <gasps> Discord channel. I want to paint see along. Work. Is there any way we can show it? Mm, what to paint? <laughs> I No, I don't think there is. Not easily. Okay. okay, so everybody go to the Discord and check that out. Next time that we go live, I will scroll through these so that we can <gasps> Excuse me, check them out. They're so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Great job, everybody. And Kendall, this new media is so cool. It, it oh. really is. I like those houses a lot. Absolutely. They're gorgeous. Ugh. 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 Great job. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> look into the camera and just go, ugh. <laughs> ugh. I can't look Blast. into the camera for too long. I get shy about it. It's... I don't like don't looking at it. <laughs> Is that weird? Look at it, Anthony. Look at I it. Refuse. It's just a little red eye staring into your soul. Is yours a red? It's fine. Mine's just like a pit of no. glass and black. Kind of red? I don't know. This is a Logitech webcam. Oh, My is usual typing. cam is this. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> do, 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 Dora. Yeah. Do, 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 Dora. Thanks, everybody. Anna, did you say what you say? <laughs> my spiel okay so everybody get vaccinated get boosted remember to wear a mask remember to be kind to yourself and others remember that you are loved <laughs> lot to remember keep it all in the head a little noggin uh and we will be back very soon so we can't wait to see you again thanks for hanging out bye bye, bye. <laughs> did you wordle today don't say what you got though <laughs> oh. after party begins <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, yes, I have much. wordled today, in fact. I <laughs> wordled you, a little you, earlier you, too. You. Jake tweeted me. How do you talk? <laughs> Sent me a message on Twitter. <laughs> what his Jake, guesses you broke were. him. <laughs> and then said at the end, yips. And I had to Google what yips meant. And apparently it's, do you know? Oh, you get the yips, right? Is that the right context? Wait. When you get the yips, you are someone who performs regularly at something, and then if you get the yips, it means that you suddenly are like in your head about it and can't perform. Is this correct? Uh, that sounds so familiar. What's that from? Uh, Ted Lasso talks about it. Oh, uh, that's probably where I it from. Well, when I googled it, it said expressing shock and alarm often for humorous effect, and I think interesting. when Jake messaged me. He, he, 
maybe that's why he said it. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but I liked it. Context. I put a little heart Context. next to the message. That means I liked it. Wait, he it. said yipes. Isn't that Is that different? Is that am I saying it wrong? I would read that as Okay, yipes. if you were Okay, it's Y I P E S and if that is like yikes, then it would be like y- yipes. 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 <laughs> Yipes! Okay, so I can't read. It's another thing. <laughs> also, Ryan says he just became a patron. Ryan! <gasps> Welcome oh. to the club. Welcome. Get ready to fill your walls with amazing artwork and the... envelopes. Oh, wait, that's... <laughs> if it's the $12 bracket, oh, <laughs> that's the why? physical I tier that you get good stuff. Yeah, but that's, it's that's all the good up tier. here. Everything but then Ryan away. says, uh, or wait, I was saying to Ryan, here comes the Ryan. Hello, Ryan. Welcome. Yikes. That's for you. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Oh, Ryan says it is the $12 bracket. Baby. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> goodies. yeah. <laughs> oh, cripes. I'm going to have to make another envelope for you. Thanks for the work, Ryan. No, I love you so much for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> At least the tiger ones. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's the tiger envelopes, which I already had to make another one because uh, apparently my aunt and uncle, who have been subscribed since like the beginning of my Patreon, Patreon shout out to Sue and John, whoop whoop, uh, they have uh, it was they were behind on like switching tiers because I did a bunch of finagling of tiers this December, and then they weren't in my list of people, and then suddenly they were, and I was like, <gasps> I have to put it together a new envelope. Oh, two but honestly, it goes club. so fast after the uh, after the design phase. So thank you, all, everybody who joined for that stream. It was great. Yeah, that was fun. Anyway, Jake says Sue and John for the win. <laughs> Sue and John for the win, and we'll see you guys on Tuesday. What are you doing tonight again? There was something fun. Class. Oh, have and a great cupcakes. class! Yay! Oh man, that's a great night. I'm so I'm so glad. And for Hungarian you. carrot stew. Hungarian horntail stew. Oh, <laughs> yes. Enjoy your carrot stew. I imagine it's sweet. Is that accurate? It's pretty good. Is it sweet though? It's not very Is it sweet, savory. Sweet. I mean, it's coconut milky, so yeah, we're gonna. Mm. Anyway, thanks for joining in, everybody. Have a good weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday, three to five. Goodbye, a second time. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Wait, what? <laughs>